We got Logan Ryan, freshly retired Logan Ryan, two-time Super Bowl champ, all those good accolades. If he went on like a real hosted podcast, they would have this whole cool intro about him because <laughs> I went to college with him, played with him in the NFL. He's just Logan Ryan. But, man, congratulations. A heck of a career. Uh, leadership in multiple places, Super Bowl champion. That's what it's all about, man. Congratulations. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. Uh, you know, you, you definitely – paved the way for me. You, you did a terrible job hosting me on my recruiting visit to <laughs> Rutgers, but I still committed anyway. And I uh, got to see you play. You know, you're a captain in college for me. You're a captain in the NFL. So, man, you, you definitely paved the way for a lot of the Rutgers guys and a guy like me especially. Yeah, man, they didn't they didn't do me right. I was way too old to be hosting young young guys <laughs> trying to come to college. I was like, man, I'll try to get out of college. I'll try to get to the NFL. Like, you're hosting this guy, four-star recruit out of New Jersey. So, Cool thing about Logan is Logan came in and we had another guy that was a, a top guy coming in. And I sat, I moved my seat back and sat right in the middle of both these guys. And Logan attached to every word, trying to get better. So it was, it was no surprise two, three years later when he was one of the top corners in the country coming out. So uh, it was cool to see, obviously, him and Duran. And speaking of you and Duran, you both. Went over to the broadcast boot camp. Obviously, I'm a fan of the broadcast boot camp. It led me to what I'm doing now. How was the experience? What was it like? Freshly retired and then trying to jump right back into the workforce, man. Yeah, you know, the broadcast boot camp is amazing. Any player that gets invited or has interest in media, I highly recommend it. Tracy Perlman, who put it together in the NFL. I mean, they brought in experts, producers, analysts, uh, play-by-play guys. I'm surprised you weren't there. Um, to come and, you know, teach us and, and let you know that, you know, this TV stuff is is work. You got to take it serious. You got to study. And and there is a, a rhyme or reason to it. So I know we hear all these guys like Collinsworth and 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 Phil Sims and Joe Buck. We're like, oh, that guy sucks. I hate him or whatever. But it's really hard what they do when, when you really when you really study it. So we got a chance to be in the booth. We got a chance to call a game on TV. You got a chance to call a game on radio got a chance to, you know, do a podcast and all that stuff and and get feedback. Um, And one thing I just was sick of is how well the McCourty twins did there. They were like the McCourty twins, the McCourty twins, the McCourty twins. And I'm like, I can't get away from these guys. I'm tapping to Ron. Like, I cannot get away from these guys. So I I, I told every producer, whatever, you know, Devin can do, I can do better. So I just think I had the confidence knowing you for as long as we've had um, that if you went and rocked it out like you did, uh, I'll be able to be just fine by myself. And I think I think I had a good showing for myself. So we'll see. Man, that's awesome. I remember being there and it was like, hey, you're going to call a game on the radio. And I was like, uh, OK. And that was the thing that I was so nervous about. The podcast I got to start with. So jumped in the podcast. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't that hard. Me and Jay had already done a podcast for a couple of years. But we got in that radio booth and I was in there. And the first words I said was, you can see here. And they jumped yeah. in my ear and was like, well, they, they can't see. So, and it, it's funny, full circle, that I called seven games this year on the radio, including the AFC Championship. And I just thought back to that boot camp, and I was just like, I never would imagine. As soon as I finished, I text Jay and was like, yo, don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that, and I'm never, ever yeah. going to call a game again. So uh, it, it's a, definitely a great experience because it forces you to do things that you might have walked in and said, man, I'm, I'll never do that in media. So I love that aspect about it. Yeah, it was like the NFL Combine. I mean, they had guys sweating. Guys were up to 1, 2 in the morning studying rosters because, like, you better know every name and you better pronounce it right. And you got to, you know, so guys were up trying to pronounce in Wusu and Jackson Smith and Jigba and, and these names, right? And I just was like, you know what? I got 10 minutes audition to be myself. And if I don't know a guy's name, I'm going to talk about the other player. You know, yeah. I'm going to talk about the other side of the ball in that play. And, um, you know, I took a different approach of like, I'm just going to go not wing it, but I'm going to go be myself and take the coaching and then show that I'm coachable. And I think mm-hmm. that was, you know, that was my way to go about it. But I mean, I, guys were studying harder for that than, you know, the night before the Super Bowl, I, I guarantee. Uh, no, no doubt about it, man. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.